Hello everybody, welcome to the Sound Test Room. Today we are taking a look at an app called PEP. Okay, so PEP, what is it? It's like an electronic music sequencer, a fun kind of electronic groove box, and it really is quite special. Um, now, the, the thing to remember here, let me just start this off right. Go to my sequencer page. This is your sequencer, and these are your controls. These are your memories. The thing is, right, let me just stop this. The thing is, PEP came out in 2015, so it's extremely old. It is, as we shall see, look, if I just swipe up here, it is interapp audio and it does still work although you know it's old and it is what it is uh, but the thing is you can download it for free there is an iap if you want to control things like the, i don't know i there's some things to scale you can change the key i bought this in 2015 uh when it first came out and i bought the iap and it had a couple of updates um, version history. Let me just have a quick check here. Version history. It was last updated February the second, twenty sixteen. Oh, and it's got accelerum, acceler, uh, accelerometer stuff you can play around with um, here and here. You can randomize the sequence, randomize the sounds and stuff, and randomize everything. It has glissando, reverb, uh, speed multiplier tempo uh, gain key but the thing is this is one of those apps it has all these memory slots as well so you know i just changed this sequence sound the thing is it's bonkers good fun uh so you might as well download it for free and have a mess with it because it still works it still works i have had a couple of crashes um but mainly that was when i tried to hit record I mean, I could also just set this up in AUM to record somewhere else if I wanted to take this stuff out. But maybe I wouldn't want to do that. But I'm going to play around with the app. This is your sequencer page here. So, for example, if I just set this off to play and I add, if I take this out, you'll only hear the beat. And you can change the rhythm. This is the genius of PEP, right? You can do all sorts of fun stuff and it requires no knowledge whatsoever. But if I start to put the sequencer in, it starts to trigger the synth engine. Okay. We have drive. Melody. Now I'll put some other steps in. If I come up with something new, and I like it, I can go to a memory slot and say, okay, well, I'll put that at number eight, long hold, and now is our original, and then so tapping on a memory slot will cue the next sequence. The cool thing here is, if you're on memory, you can scroll along. And there are absolutely gazillions of these, look. I don't even know how many there are. Our and they've all got something in you can start to play around with. low pass filtering and then into high pass pitch effects detune change the oscillator change the sequence and that's remembered with your memory and 
before we messed with it. I always find giving a bit of drive adds a bit of, you know, extra power. Of course, we can change the key. Scale. And a bit of re the reverb is actually really good. Anything you set here is remembered. So this is global stuff. Anyway, I'm gonna close the microphone and uh, yeah, just have a play around. Oh, the reason why I'm doing this is I noticed um, a, a couple of days ago that, and I, I'd, I'd completely forgotten all about Pep. You know, you do you, these old apps, these. These were the apps that embraced the touchscreen stuff, you know. I know I'm using the mouse, but that's only so you can see what I'm doing. But the idea here is it's super cool for touchscreen stuff, you know. It's all this kind of, you know, messing around. And you forget about there were so many really good ones, and Pep was a particularly good one. Um, but I noticed some people had been watching the Pep video, and it turned out some people on the audio bus forum had been watching it. And they'd started a, a a thread kind of thing. So I thought, well, I'll have a I'll have a dive in. You know, it always surprises me that when I go and you know rediscover these older apps, um, that they still work on the latest iOS. You know, it's good fun. Um, but like I said, it you can download it for free. There are a few things that are disabled here. I don't think you can change the key and the scale and things like that. But other than that, the thing works for, you know, I'm pretty sure it works as interapp audio, you know, even the free version. But even if it doesn't, just using it standalone is good fun. Right. All that being said, let's have a let's have a mess, shall we? See what we can come up with. And go on, let's go with global play. <laughs>
the developer stopped developing the app but imagine how good it would be now you know if he'd have carried on developing it and developing it although I, I guess <clears throat> it's so old that he would have had to rewrite the entire thing for it to be AUV3 and stuff like that maybe he took it as far as he could maybe because it was free not many people bought the IAP things like that you know you don't know do you maybe he got a better job I don't know but it is a fab fab app and i like i said i'd just forgotten all about it and all these are pre-filled with stuff let's start this off <laughs> Obviously, it's not going to have Ableton Link and stuff like that. You can set what the accelerator, uh, the accelerometers do as well. Looks. Well, I'm, obviously, I'm not moving my iPad around, but. There you go. There's a look at Pep. A Pep, a blast from the past that still kind of works. Uh, uh, <clears throat> would I advise you to actually buy the IAP? Probably not. I'm pretty sure that you'll get as much fun out of this just downloading the free version while it still actually works. I'm guessing probably if you're one of the kind of old school users of iOS apps from back in the day, um, you'll probably already have Pep because it was quite popular back at, back you know back then. This kind of reminds me of Seek Beats a bit, although it's not the it's not the same uh, developers as that. The amount of memory slots is bonkers, um, and it sounds good. You know, it's good fun. Anyway, look, guys, listen. Like I said, I I'll put a link in for Pep, but my advice probably would, unless you're a real die hard and you want to kind of adjust keys and scales and do some other bits and pieces and stuff 
probably probably not the wisest idea to to actually purchase the IAP. But to download it and have a mess around with it, yeah, hundred percent, do that, and it's good fun. I'm not sure. I'm guessing it will work as interrap audio without the IAP, but I'm like, I like I don't really know because I like I said I I bought this in 2015 when it came out, and that was I don't think I mean not many developers were um, doing this kind of stuff then. You know, it was it was interesting and it was exciting. You know, I mean obviously there's stuff that does this now and does it better, but it's still kind of. In a way, it's still original. It's still interesting the way that the developers set this up. It's nice, you know. Looks nice as well. It's pleasant to look at. Doesn't take any skill. Sequence is really nice. Memories are great. The global stuff, yeah, I mean, you know, it's okay. Anyway, top job. Cool beans. Guys, I will see you later. Ta-da.